Marcus Licinius Crassus was a Roman general and politician who played a key role in the transformation of the Roman Republic into the Roman Empire. Amassing an enormous fortune during his life, Crassus is considered the wealthiest man in Roman history, and among the richest men in all history, if not the wealthiest. Crassus began his public career as a military commander under Lucius Cornelius Sulla during his civil war. Following Sulla's assumption of the dictatorship, Crassus amassed an enormous fortune through real estate speculation. Crassus rose to political prominence following his victory over the slave revolt led by Spartacus, sharing the consulship with his rival Pompey the Great, a political and financial patron of Julius Caesar. Crassus joined Caesar and Pompey in the unofficial political alliance known as the First Triumvirate. Together the three men dominated the Roman political system. The alliance would not last indefinitely due to the ambitions, egos, and jealousies of the three men. While Caesar and Crassus were lifelong allies, Crassus and Pompey disliked each other and Pompey grew increasingly envious of Caesar's spectacular successes in the Gallic Wars. The alliance was restabilized at the Lucca Conference in 56 BC, after which Crassus and Pompey again served jointly as consuls. Following his second consulship, Crassus was appointed as the governor of Roman Syria. Crassus used Syria as the launch pad for a military campaign against the Parthian Empire, Rome's longtime eastern enemy. Crassus' campaign was a disastrous failure, resulting in his defeat and death at the Battle of Cara. Crassus' death permanently unraveled the alliance between Caesar and Pompey. Within four years of Crassus' death, Caesar would cross the Rubicon and begin a civil war against Pompey and the Optimates. Family and background Marcus Licinius Crassus was the second of three sons born to the eminent senator and Vertriam Phallus P. Licinius Crassus. This line was not descended from the Crassidivites, although often assumed to be. The eldest brother Publius died shortly before the Italic War and Marcus took the brother's wife as his own. His father and the youngest brother Gaius took their own lives in Rome in winter 87-86 BC to avoid capture when he was being hunted down by the Marians following their victory in the Bellum Octavianum. There were three main branches of the House of Licinii Crassi in the 2nd and 1st centuries BC, and many mistakes in identifications and lines have arisen owing to the uniformity of Roman nomenclature, erroneous modern suppositions, and the unevenness of information across the generations. In addition the dives cognomen of the Crassi Divites means rich or wealthy, and since Marcus Crassus the subject here was renowned for his enormous wealth this has contributed to hasty assumptions that his family belonged to the Divites but no ancient source accords him or his father the Dives cognomen. While we are explicitly informed that his great wealth was acquired rather than inherited, and that he was raised in modest circumstances, Crassus' a homonymous grandfather, Licinius Crassus, was facetiously given the Greek nickname Major Lastis by his contemporary Gaius Lucilius, the famous inventor of Roman satire who asserted that he smiled once in his whole life. This grandfather was son of P. Licinius Crassus. The latter's brother C. Licinius Crassus produced the third line of Licinia Crassi of the period, the most famous of whom was Lucius Licinius Crassus, the greatest Roman orator before Cicero and the latter's childhood hero and model. Marcus Crassus was also a talented orator and one of the most energetic and active advocates of his time.